Good morning, and welcome to Memorial Hermann Texas Medical Center. I'm Beth Sartori, and I'm glad all of you are here today. It's a great turnout. It's been about a month since our last press conference, and Captain Kelly asked us to invite all of you here today for another update on the Congresswoman's medical progress. And here to do that are Dr. Dong Kim in the center, Dr. Emo Isiku, and Dr. Gerard Francisco. Dr. Kim? Good morning. Um, there's been very good progress in the last six weeks, so we wanted to give everybody an update. Um, first, I'm very happy to report that she is making leaps and bounds in terms of neurological recovery. Um, what we are very interested in is several areas. So first, how is she doing from a cognitive level? Her memory is good, her personality, um, she is doing spectacularly well. Her speech is getting very good. She is starting to walk with assistance. And if you remember from where we were just six weeks ago, uh, this is a tremendous amount of progress. Um, she has had her tracheostomy out recently, so I'm going to ask Dr. Isiku to talk about that, and then Dr. Francisco will describe a little more about her rehab, and then we'll take questions. So, um, regarding her trach, uh, recently this past week I was able to take the tracheostomy tube completely out, and from my perspective, over the ensuing, um, over the weeks previous to that, she had done spectacularly well in her progress that I felt it was safe for her to have that out and continue in the next course of her uh, rehabilitative process. And for her, uh, it was a significant advancement forward for her as uh, she was very excited and expressed that demonstratively as uh, we were able to take that out for her. So that went well. Gerard? And as her neurologic and medical conditions improve, we are, uh, have been able to upgrade her uh, rehabilitation program further. Uh, so she's able to do more now in all aspects of the various therapies that we provide her every single day. Okay, questions? How does the trach, excuse me, how does the trach being taken out, I'm, I'm guessing that's what you mean by your, you've been able to upgrade her rehab efforts. Could you speak a little more specifically about maybe what she's able to do now? That is only one aspect. Um, uh, that's not the only medical um, <coughs> breakthroughs that we've had in the last few weeks. Uh, she has had continuous neurologic improvement that has allowed us to challenge her more uh, in the therapy program. Can you give examples? Examples of? Neurological improvement that allow you to advance forward? Better movement, um, better cognition, better speaking. Therefore, we were able to um, um, increase the um, stimulus or increase the therapy program, uh, both in terms of the difficulty and the type of therapies that are being given, and she is responding beautifully uh, to this uh, rehab program. Do you have a timeline yet on any, uh, when she's going to be out of here on 24 hours and being able to become an outpatient? Not quite yet. That's something that um, we are um, um, actively addressing. Uh, it's a question in the back of our heads, but right now our focus on making her even better, and we are working towards that goal. Can you give us specific examples on her speaking? Like we had heard she was mouthing, twinkle, twinkle, little star. What are some of the things that she can, is she talking in sentences? Mm -hmm. Where is she at? Um, she went from, you know, again at the last conference we were thinking, is she mouthing words or not? She's clearly saying words she wants. She's starting to string words together. Um, she can repeat anything we say to her. Now that's an important neurological um, recovery fact because what that means is that her whole primary language areas are intact. And then she's already starting to speak in full sentences when she wants. For example, she says, you know, I'm tired, I want to go to bed. Just like that. So, um, and we can really have a conversation with her at this point. What's the next step in her rehab? What, what is the goal that you want her to start with in the next phase? You want to start with that? Oh, yeah, that's a lot. I mean, I don't know where to start because she's, um, she has improved quite well and is continuing to improve. So we're um, um, more aggressively addressing uh, therapies directed towards improving movement, uh, improvement in um, speaking, uh, and in interacting with um, other people as well. How is her memory? You said her memory is improving. Tell us how much it is improving. 
Um, well, there's two types of memory we think about. You know, one is the memories that she has of her childhood and past years, and that is all normal. And then there is memories that we make, and she does not have memories of the event, which is normal, but she um, is, you know, and we are not fully testing that yet, but her memory is going to be great. Like, for example, you know, I can pick off pick up from where I was the last time I talked to her. She remembers everybody that's coming in the room. So um, I do not anticipate any memory problems for her. Which of these milestones is most important as y'all were evaluating to see whether she could indeed make the trip uh, to uh, the shuttle launch next, next month? They're all important. Um, we have to make sure that, um, the, that she will, it'll be safe for her. Uh, to perform any activity, uh, if the goal is for her to per to, to witness the launch uh, in April, uh, then our number one concern is that it will be safe and appropriate for her to do that. So the decision, decision has not been made? Be, I'm sorry, just a quick follow-up. Is it definite that she'll be there? How would she be transported? Well, no, it's still about a month from now. It's still too early. We are planning towards that, but right now we don't have any, um, any details that uh, we can share with you. We're still planning. We're, we have a lot of options that we're considering at this point. Um, excuse me, what about the skull? When would you expect that to re be reattached? Are you already thinking about that, or is that too far in the future? Uh, typically, we replace that about three to four months after injury. There's no um, limitation to her rehabilitation not having that in, so there's no rush to do it. And right now, we're planning probably sometime in May, and that's the normal time frame for that. Three to four months. Three. Oh, I'm sorry, let me clarify. Three to four months after injury, not weeks. Uh, yes, and you say sometime in May. So she would be able to travel to the launch without that surgery in place? Yes. Can you speak to what kind of memory she has or if there's been any indication as to whether there are memories of that week leading up to what happened in Arizona or of the early portions of that day? <clears throat> she does not have any memories of that event, and that's normal for patients to suffer that kind of injury. Um, given what we know about her injury and what we see her on her examination, I don't think she's going to have any memory problems outside of this one event. She started with three hours of rehab a day. Has that been increased? It varies from day to day. Sometimes I give her three hours, sometimes more than three hours. As Dr. Kim said, uh, she's able to say when she's tired. So we give her some time for rest as well. Uh, so as we um, um, assess her uh, progress and the response to the therapy, we change not only the type of therapy, but we also change the duration and total amount of therapy each day. Also, how independent is she at this point? Is she able to now feed herself, dress herself? Is she gaining all of those? You said she has more movement. Is that part of the movements? She's gaining more movement. She's gaining more ability to do things for herself. Um, this is something that uh, has really pleased us over the last several weeks. The amount of assistance that she needs has decreased significantly. Can you speak to maybe the level of intensity when it comes to conversation with her? How long she will carry on a conversation? 30 seconds, a minute, 10 minutes. What is her capacity when it comes to a give and take with someone else, be it a doctor, a family member, a friend? She, she has a very good attention span. Uh, she's, uh, we can engage her for a, long, uh, for a long period of time during therapy or in between therapies. I know when um, I typically examine her and evaluate her, uh, we conversate through the entire process and she assists me when I need to examine her. She'll assist in taking this off or that off and so forth. So, and she does through the entire time that I'm there. So I've not noticed any deficits there. Dr. Gerard? Given her condition when she came in and where she is now, would you put into context for us um, how remarkable her, her progress has been in these few weeks? Quite remarkable and better than what we had expected. Um, and many of you were here the last time we had the press conference, and I think I mentioned something about um, having to assess her uh, progress and her response to the therapy, and we will change her therapy program based on that. 
let me tell you that that has been happening quite frequently because she has been improving quite well. So once we have achieved some goals, we're going to change the therapy program so that we can reach higher goals. So um, we've been kept busy uh, reimagining, rethinking, and redoing the rehab program. Um, I think it's too early to talk about that at this point. I do think that she's going to make an excellent recovery. How is her vision? Does she have vision in that left eye? Yes, she does. We don't expect vision problems. Is any of her paralysis or weakness gone? It's not gone yet, but you know, given that she's already standing and walking, it points to how, how much strength she has regained. And that's what Dr. Francisco was talking about before we can initiate walking therapy if the leg strength isn't strong enough. And uh, given that it's only been two months and she's already walking, that's a very favorable sign that she'll be um, even stronger over the next few months. What are you specific things that you'd like to see her improve on? So, so I didn't hear the question. Well, well, a lot, of course. We, we're very demanding of our patients. We, we challenge our patients um, every time. Uh, in the short term, I'm expecting her to do more of what she's doing now over a longer period of time and doing them with a decreasing amount of assistance. Uh, and then once she has achieved those goals, then we're going to think about the uh, future goals. Can you give us an idea of what you guys do for her on a daily basis? What, what type of interaction, interaction do you have? Well, um, for my particular uh, aspect of it, a lot of it has been airway management and centered around that aspect of things. So we come in, I come in pretty routinely and see how she's progressing from that uh, standpoint. And over the last uh, weeks, it's been sort of a stepwise progression in challenging her airway in coordination with the speech to see how well she could tolerate that um, before, we, before we took it out. And to the extent that that was a monumental uh, step for her was that she recognized that and gave a very favorable fist up, uh, pumped fist response when, uh, when the tray came out. And so that's been my component of it. Well, as a physiatrist, a specialist in physical medicine and rehabilitation, my primary concern is her neurologic and functional recovery. Um, so when I see her each day, well, I try to see her at different times of the day because I would like to see how she does in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evenings. I see her during therapy or in between therapy so that I'll be able to um, uh, modify the rehab program as needed. Um, I examine her. I do both physical and functional examination, either by myself or with my colleagues, uh, including Dr. Jacob Joseph, who is um, my associate. Uh, the other rehab physician taking care of her, and uh, the therapist. Uh, I'm also their eye, since I'm the one who's based at TIER. Um, if there will be any um, suspicious medical or neurologic problem, um, I alert uh, my colleagues who are based here at Herman. Is there anything that she um, ever bites on? Sometimes patients get a little frustrated and fight back and don't want to do something. Does she ever have a day like that? No, you know, she's been remarkably, she has a um, personality that's already showing through. She's very upbeat, um, focused on getting better. Um, you know, patients often react differently to events like this. She hasn't shown us uh, depression, and um, she's been just very forward-looking. And even with the speech, she's um, not showing uh, much frustration. And part of that is because you know, she's making so much progress, and it's uh, exciting for everybody, including her, that uh, she's getting better almost on a daily basis. When she does something for the first time, does she, can she say to you or express to you in some way that she recognizes that progress, that milestone? How does she do that? Yes, she does. She, she lets us know. She gets excited when, uh, when there's a new accomplishment. How does she do it, for example? Just like what you and I will do, I will let out a big smile. So we know that she knows when she has accomplished an important milestone. Are you 
you able to see those flashes of personality from her? Does she laugh? I mean, can you oh, talk yes. to us a little nugget of, of feeling for that? Can you talk yeah. about that at all? Yeah, we're, we're seeing her personality um, I mean, compared to when she was brought here about a couple of months ago. Uh, that has emerged quite well. And I feel like I know her very well uh, because she's able to express her personality. She's able to express what she wants and what she doesn't want. Yeah, we would say at this point that they're not flashes. You know, that's Gabby and she's working and it's not like we're looking for it occasionally. It's a constant, wonderful thing. Aesthetically, Oh, it varies anywhere from about three to five hours, uh, depending on how, um, on what goals we want to achieve for that week. Sure, we've upgraded the therapy program, so in addition to exercises that will directly address impairments such as weakness, uh, we're now focusing more on functional activities. Of course, and yes, and so, um, you know, as uh, Gerard said earlier, uh, we're going to be assessing this over the next few weeks, but we think there's a good possibility that she will be there. I think we're going to start wrapping this up, so maybe one or two more questions. Is her personal goal to go to the shuttle launch? Is that what she's striving for? Has she made that known? How should we answer that? I mean, I think, you know, of course she would like to be there if uh, possible to see her husband do this uh, launch, so. Do you worry about impulsivity? Sometimes personalities change and people talk about Congress members have access to important things that have to stay private. Is that gonna be an issue because of this type of brain injury? Uh, I think that's a little early to say, but I think um, probably not. I think uh, that's not gonna be an issue. And my apologies if you've addressed this, but has there been a decision made about when she will be told about the event and who will tell her? Okay, well this will be the last question. Um, I think she has been told, and both by her husband and by us, and um, I think she understands, and um, you know, and obviously she needs to know, so that has been part of the process. Okay, I think that's uh, the, the end, so. No. Well, we were not there when, um, um, when this occurred, so we cannot answer that question. Exactly. That is correct. And, you know, what, uh, as I understand, it was about her and uh, not so much the whole uh, event at this point. But uh, those kind of details we should probably uh, put off for now. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.